house in Jefferson City that was completely trashed, almost beyond imagination. But since then, we've been digging deeper to find out if the home's history has to be disclosed to the next renters or owners. Today, ABC 17's Ashley Strohmeyer spoke to county leaders and the new property owner. She joins us live in Jefferson City. And Ashley, the commission says there's no law that anything has to be disclosed about this particular house. Joe, you're exactly right, and I'm at that house on Shoemate Chapel Road in Cole County where the previous renters pretty much trashed and destroyed the house inside and out. Now, Mark Ellinger with the Cole County Commission says they have a nuisance ordinance put in place to prevent things like this from happening. Although the commission doesn't have to tell the next owner what happened, there are other ways they can find out. So, you know, there is public notice of everything that's gone on. Uh, a future renter, we have no obligation to do anything. Uh, as far as notifying a future renter. But the new owner, William Ott, tells me he will disclose everything that happened here. Taking pictures of the inside, what we're doing to it, so if someone buys a property a year or two from now, then they know that it's all been gutted and redone, new everything. Ott says he knows there is a stigma attached to the house, and it could be difficult to sell. From the way it looks, there's, there's not going to be any money made on this one here. I'll be lucky if I don't lose money. He says he can only think of one situation comparable to this one. It was, it's like I'm back in Florida doing the hurricanes again. Uh, it's, it was that bad. He also says in the past week they have taken 40 trailer loads of trash from the house. They have ripped up the carpet and started treating the house. I asked what the next step is in repairing the home. I'm not real sure what the next step is. Right now we're just going to clean the property up the rest of the way. We're almost done with it. Also tells me the renters who were in this house previously have already managed to set the kitchen on fire in the house they live in now, and that was in the city. Live in Cole County, Ashley Strohmeyer, ABC 17 News. Amazing. Ashley, thank you. The commission says the goal of the nuisance policy is not to punish people, but to get them to clean up their property. Now, if they don't, Cole County will clean it up for them and send them the bill. And if that bill isn't paid, they'll tack it on to the next tax bill of the property at the end of the year. More.